WTF is seven. If you don't know by now, where have you been? Three stops down and the new HSBC 7s is going from strength to strength. This season, the series sees the best 12 men's and women's rugby 7s teams go head to head in seven exotic destinations before climaxing in a grand final weekend where the top eight teams will compete to be crowned series champions. And as if the high risk, high octane action on the pitch isn't enough, the New Look series puts an equal focus on the fiesta. The festival outside the bowl transcends the sport with music, food, fitness, and immersive experiences, all celebrating the unique local flavor of each venue. The curtain was raised in Dubai. There, 100,000 fans dove head first into the entertainment packed weekend. The biggest sports and entertainment festival in the Middle East delivered live music, DJs, fancy dress, sports masterclasses, and the widest variety of food and drink options ever. On the field, there were two action-packed days of high-intensity, highly skilled rugby sevens. The Aussie women felt right at home in the heat of the desert as they faced the Blackburns in the final. Despite the Kiwis being on a record 41 match winning run, the Levi sisters and their teammates were on fire. After a tense battle, a try in the closing minutes clinched Australia the win and a record fourth consecutive Dubai title. Four in a row, simply supreme. On the men's side, the final saw defending champion South Africa come up against a determined Argentinian side in a thumping encounter. After five minutes, the blitz box were already 12-0 up and successfully held back an impassioned fight back from the Argentinians. South Africa triumphed 14-7, their fifth tournament win in a row at Dubai, kicking off their campaign in an emphatic style. Next up, the party moved to Cape Town for another pulsating weekend on and off the pitch. More than 80,000 fans flocked to the magnificent Cape Town Stadium for a next level experience. The always on entertainment spilled out from the bowl onto the surrounding concourse where fans shared their time between the beach club, sun stage and the love garden. African acrobats, drummers and stilt walkers roamed the party whilst the fittest fans took on the turf games. Meanwhile, there were some surprises in the stadium. Red Bull motocross rider Brian Kappa wowed the roaring fans by jumping over the pools on his bike and three of the triumphant Rugby World Cup winning Springboks, Damien Valencia, Dion Ferry and Manili Bok thrilled the emotional crowd by showing off the Webb Ellis Cup. On the rugby side, New Zealand's Michaela Blythe became just the second woman in series history to reach the 200 try mark and teammate Portia Woodman Wycliffe who was the only other woman to achieve that feat, was the first person to congratulate her. It's been a goal of mine for a while. The next one is to be in front of Portia, but that might take a while if she doesn't retire before me. But it was the Australian women who added another crown to their collection. Taking on France in the final, they had raced into a 22-0 lead in the first six minutes. A double for Anne-Cécile Siafani in the extended first half and a third for Carla Neeson put France back within three before Caitlin Shave put Australia out of sight and secured them two wins from two. The sweetest of victories, Australia champions in Cape Town. The Australian men had hoped to replicate the women's success, but a week after losing to South Africa in Dubai, the Argentinians came into the final on a mission. In a weekend where Los Pumas veteran Gaston Revol played in his ridiculous 100th tournament and German Schultz scored his 100th international sevens try, the South American squad laid down a marker with their first ever win in South Africa and a decisive one at that. The money man fires it wider for Alvarez. The captain goes in. The 
That's how you do it. Wow. Argentina, for the first time ever, champions in South Africa. The celebrations flooded the emotions. Someone get him a couple of mocktails on the pool edge. <laughs> That's a total oh, broken! <laughs> That's a total <laughs> wiper! <laughs> Everybody <laughs> out, out of the pool! pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. We've never seen that ever. Two stops down and the festival turn up the heat with a move down under to Perth. It means everything to me to pull on the shirt and represent my country. Extreme athleticism. I go out there to make my family proud. It means the world to me. Levi to Levi this time. What do I love about rugby? Everything. It's in our blood. Look at it here, the athletic strife. The speed. Murder. The thrill. The desire. Just so tough. Look at the physical disparity between those two. For our country. For our fans. And they are going to wrap up one of their great title wins. This is what we do. And we were born to do it. Welcome to Australia. Once again, fans were treated to three days of non-stop entertainment, mouth-watering menus and immersive experiences as Sevens took over the iconic HBF Park. The food market fused together the best of local cuisines and an atmosphere of positivity took centre stage at the party stand. Music was everywhere, with over 20 acts bringing the vibes to make it a long weekend to remember, including Coterie and Peking Duck. Some fans opt for the next level experience, with exclusive access to the premium Sunroom Lounge or the Spring Hotel. Mega! The perfect blend of delicious food and drinks, chic comfort, and non-stop entertainment. Plus, the best seats in the house for the thrilling action on the pitch. And what a weekend of rugby it was. Pick a side, pick a side. Only two options, be with the winners or the other guys, yeah. Ain't no time, ain't no time. We already on the way. Better get themselves in line. Thought I told you we don't be no rules up in the house tonight. The champions are back in your cell. Yeah, the champs are back. Stay the stairs and make them shout tonight. The champions are about to get stared. Yeah, the champs are back. It all culminated in two tantalising finals, which brought down the curtain on stock three. Ireland taking on the host nation Australia in the women's final up shortly. These are the matches you must play for. Ashby stepping in, and now Kasler clawing forward. Oh, they held on there, and you cannot stop the world. This player, Amy Lee Murphy Crow, is going to respond quite quickly. Flood for both. In Perth, here we go. And Argentina just released their speed. So, how quick is Marcos Money Moneta? And there's no stopping German Schultz, the hottest team on the circuit. He's starting to cook big time in Perth. Sales will score the final try. Los Pumas, do it again. Next up, the whole shebang moves to Vancouver, kicking off on the 23rd of February. If you're in town, this is one party you do not want to miss. Pick 
a side, pick a side. Only two options, be with the winners or the other guys. Yeah, ain't no time, ain't no time. We already on the way. Better get themselves in line. Thought I told you we don't do no rules up in the house tonight. The 